Hi guys, it's me Ubaid and today we will see how we can build a AI resume information extractor which will extract any PDF or Word document uh, in the form of resume you gave and it will uh, format as JSON with the section wise information as experience, education, skills, certifications or whatever you want, right? and it will be a complete next.js application which means you can deploy it for your own use cases or as a startup for other uh, users uh, around you okay and if you are working on any custom project uh, feel free to reach out through uh, this email or the whatsapp and we can build something together okay i believe we can start uh, this will be the application we will see how we can set it up and get it running and i will show you our demo also okay let's get started okay first of all let's see our demo and i will choose a resume uh, let's say this one resume 7 and i will give this resume to my system which will extract the information in json format and we will see how we can download this json file uh, which will be a result of the uh, process through ai llm models right and in the backbone we are using gpt4 uh, but let's see the response first yeah so here is the extracted info from whatever file you give and it is available as json so name is the sabas after uh email is that uh, i will just open that file also just to show you what was exactly in there so we have this resume here with all of these uh, data around the Saba software, the uh, candidate, it may be a candidate who have applied for your job or you are working for uh, someone as a recruiter, right? Okay, so Saba software name, the email, the location, the currently working, uh, what is the role uh, she is doing right now? So that is data engineer as system. So let's see if it's uh even that yeah so if we see the work experience we have data engineer in the system limited yeah and the previously worked we have data scientist as turing data scientist as package X, data analyst data science as uh fiber with responsibilities and it even showed you the responsibilities as what was she actually doing uh around that experience or around that job role right uh, it will be a you know, freelancing experience of her and in the uh, skill section with the professional skills tag uh, what I have done is uh, try to mention the skill also but not only the skill it will mention where exactly that skill was being used so she has mentioned Python in the uh, these positions where she was using actually python in the uh in the job uh she was doing right so not only like uh if if a, if a if a person with uh 10 or 12 years of experience mentioned python that should be identifies uh identified differently than uh a person with one or two years of experience of python right so that way you can easily uh, set the metrics like uh, okay she was a data scientist as this much uh, this company and she was using python in that so that will be at some level in her job load right so you can have the idea of that and uh, same with every skill set obviously the the uh, ui can be in, uh, improved a lot better like uh, how you present information for your own use cases but i believe that's a totally a uh, very and uh, is different from every organization to organization every use case to use case how they want to uh, present the information 
in their systems right and the education is the bioinformatics at uh, Kumsar University Islamabad okay so I believe this was the information uh, anyone or uh, you know uh, recruiter will try to find out in every resume and suppose you have like 500 resumes and you have all the information which can be downloaded as json so if i click on that i will get this file and if i open this i will have all the information in the json so name email uh currently working previously worked professional skills education law uh the location so i have all the information here and uh you can easily parse this information or give it to your uh further evaluating process uh, which will be in a in a structured way rather than a pdf or a word file right uh so there are a lot of use cases for these type of systems right and uh feel free to discuss it uh on the email or the whatsapp and we can build something together uh okay so let's see how uh the thing is working uh so first of all this is a next js application so i will just close or cancel out all the servers uh yeah so if we see in the source we have a component of index a nav bar is simple just the nav bar uh the index what it is doing it is accepting a file and uh the file will be obviously of the resume so when it accept a file it store it in a state variable uh using selected file and uh when i submit it will uh, uh send that file to a url to my backend so i have a endpoint with the flask name as extract info so i will do a post request to that with that file and i will get back all the processing of the file which will be name email and all the sections of the resume now we uh, have some idea like how the backend is working so we will check that so in the app.py what we have done is we parse the resume obviously and uh, then we uh, give it to our ai model and yeah and get the name email currently working all the uh, all the information in a specified format and we use it to display on our uh, ui with the help of display info page so i will route it back uh, uh, to a page name as display info and if i can show you yeah so i am on the display info and the information is in the url uh, so here we have all the uh, display functionality with the tailwind css with the name email location and all that and these are the variables which contains those information right uh i think that is it for all the uh, high higher level uh, building process of uh, the system right you can replicate it for your own use cases or you can modify it for your uh, own uh, personalized use case where maybe you you only want uh, experience part only you are not uh, you are not interested in the location or the education stuff you only want the uh, experience part so you modify and enhance that functionality rather than uh, you know uh, doing all the efforts collectively on uh, every section of the uh, resume right okay 
i believe that was it for this video and all the source code are in the uh, are in the description feel free to check it out there will be a link about that and i'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching